It's our seventh and final day in Canada and all of my openings have been sort of Canadian stereotypes and I know I said it last time that I'd run dry, but I'm serious this time. I am completely out. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Last day on Eagle Lake for the spring musky opener and uh, after a muskyless day yesterday, a uh, bunch of pike that kept us busy, but uh, we're really hoping to put at least one in the boat, regardless of size. Um, it's traditionally tough conditions today. It's calm, uh, no overcast, it's like bluebird skies. We might get lucky this afternoon and get some clouds, but uh, the conditions uh, that we have right now are that. Upper 60 to 70 degree water temps. Um, we've seen fish on weeds, rocks. Not a lot of follow, well, I should say a ton of follows, but super lazy follows. We haven't even had a fish hit at the side of the boat, which is really rare for Eagle Lake. Everything's been hitting out and everything else that's followed has been really, really lazy. So let's see what we can do today. We're gonna try to catch y'all musky. All right, ladies and gents, real quick before we get back into the video, I just have to bring up something because it is coming up here in southern Wisconsin. It is the fourth annual Lady of the Lake Musky Tournament put on by the Chicagoland Musky Hunters. Uh, it is a musky fishing tournament on Lake Geneva. My good friend uh, Drew Matusik is the tournament director. He has been putting this together for four years now and it is an amazing cause to get fish stocked in southeastern Wisconsin, Lake Geneva specifically. It is a really cool fishery. You guys should come check it out and Gales. I will leave a link for all of this stuff in the description below. There is a dinner afterwards. There are raffles. There's all sorts of cool stuff. More than I can remember to tell you right now. So please go check out the link in the description below for this and come check out an amazing tournament for a good cause to get more muskies stocked in southern Wisconsin. Fish! I swear if this is a pike. <laughs> the rod's not loaded up that much. Oh my god. <laughs> Sure is. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a decent one anyway. Yeah, but all right, it's not that I don't like pike. I just don't like them when I expect to catch musky. But this isn't a bad one. It is a bad one. It's not behaving. All right, come here, you. Let's take a look at you. It's not huge, but take a look at him. I bet he's only like 32 or something like that. So I'm not going to measure or even bother measuring him. I'm just going to toss him back. Go away because pike splash. All right. Okay, well, hopefully, we did hit just have like a ghost follow musky that followed in, stayed underneath the boat. I jigged it for a while with a Medusa, so I was really hoping that that's what that was, but. So be it. We've got a lot more fishing to do though, so hopefully we can get a musky.
down and up and we go <sighs> cool man this is a hectic one yeah it was there we go beautiful I'm too into the idea of <laughs> <laughs> all right that was only what a couple casts after that <laughs> after that pike where i was kind of disappointed this thing came screaming in and slashed at it on the eight and we got ourselves a nice muskie here behave yourself man it was a heck of a fight cartwheeling all over the place what a beautiful fish still has some spawn scars on it because it is the opener so it's pretty early early on here in Ontario. It is, ooh, you, 41 three quarters, right? Yep. Yep, 41 three quarters. Woo, 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 woo. She wants to pop, so if she goes, I'm just gonna let her go, but, all right, she's gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice. There you go, she wants to go. Nice and healthy, kicks off. Whew. All right, man. Maybe this whole reef thing's gonna pay off for us. Fish. That's another big pike. <laughs> that one might actually be. All right, well, our third fish out on the reefs in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe. They're loving the Medusas. Um, these calm, high sky days, a lot of times you can get these fish riled up by ripping Medusas out here on the rocks. Another, it's probably about the same size as the last one. So, that was about right. They're like 33 inches, so. Not huge, but fun pike. Kinda break up the monotony between muskies, hopefully, here. All right, I'm gonna put you back so you don't splash me this time. Ha, I win. Fish. Feels good. Oh, are you kidding me? What's that? I suppose you want me to be a camera. Uh. He's gonna catch one on that cast. Oh, he got himself unhooked. Dude, I thought I, I thought that was a muskie. All right, let's just take care of this guy really quick. He had me completely fooled. Pike number four on the tossing rubber on rocks. I mean, they're, they're healthy, solid fish, and this one 
fought like a son of a gun, but it is not what we're looking for. All right. Oh, yeah, I know. All right. <sighs> One of these times it's going to be musky. Oh, I got a wake, got a wake. Come on, buddy. I had him going every which way. Cool when they do that, but I don't know why I couldn't get him to hit. God, he was hard on that thing. Did that fish bump it? I don't know, it looked like there was a uh, a boil behind you. Yep. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. Nice, dude. Nice. Last night, match. Awesome, dude. That's cool. Cool hit. Fish. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish on the bucktail. A little single nine got done. All right. and a quarter. Nice done, man. Now we look at it. All right. She goes. Nice dude. That was sweet. <laughs> All right, we've transitioned from rock spots to weed spots. We've got a little bit of time left. And we had one follow, and that one came in and just crushed that single nine uh, East Sox Assault uh, Shimmer Shad right next to the boat. Really, really cool. So, All right, folks, we're calling it quits a little bit early, but look at that sunset. That is, this video does not do it justice. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Sad to be leaving, this was our last day, but I'll be coming back in August. And uh, really looking forward to that. We had a really great day today, can't complain. But three muskies, bunch of pike. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. And had an amazing time staying at Cole Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. If you need a place to stay up here, I will leave all of their particulars in the description below so you can check that out. But uh, yeah, we have to pack up the boat, pack up the truck. We've got a 12 hour drive in the morning back to Southern Wisconsin. So yeah, I'd love to fish this last half hour, but uh, it, being a responsible adult sometimes sucks and you just have to do things you don't wanna do. So that's what we're gonna do. And with that, thank you, everyone of you for watching this mess. I'll see you on the next video.